There is a new effort underway to reduce the number of deadly traffic accidents involving teenage drivers. And it's being guided by new research into the adolescent brain. One study suggests that young people are more likely to engage in risky behavior because the area of the brain that manages risk is not fully formed until after the teenage years. Here's ABC's Lisa Stark. The 16-year-old driver of this car did not even have a license, but she was driving two friends last month when she lost control and one passenger died. Teens often take chances behind the wheel. Now those pushing for tougher teen licensing laws say the latest science may help explain why. Researchers studying the brain say the last section to mature the frontal lobes are not fully developed until age 25 or beyond. The frontal lobes are sort of the executive center of the brain, the part of the brain that's responsible for planning, organizing, anticipating the consequences of one's actions. In Virginia, this research was cited by those pushing a bill to ban cell phone use by young drivers. A similar bill, and one to limit the number of passengers riding with a teen driver, is up for debate in Maryland. The studies point to the fact that teens are taking the highest risks uh, because in some respects their brains don't know any better. Researchers are quick to point out that more study is needed to prove that what's happening in the teen brain directly impacts behavior. At Pennsylvania's Temple University, researchers using a video game found the number of risky decisions made by teens tripled when their friends were present. In the real world, for teen drivers, the risk of a crash doubles with just one extra passenger. Interestingly, the teenagers didn't take more risks when they were by themselves. It was only when they were in the presence of other kids. Another reason that lawmakers in 13 states are now trying to limit the distractions that can lead to unsafe teen driving. Lisa Stark, ABC News, Washington. And there is more information about safety guidelines for teenage drivers at abcnews.com.